Hey, welcome. This is Zachary from Zachary 3D Prints. You know, I've, I've got the X1. Uh, people are still buying those because it's a dirty cheap printer. But now there is something called the K9. It's not a dog, but it is a small modular 3D printer. You have three of the same axis. During the assembling, you, you will decide which part goes where. So I think I think it's great. You know, made by Leas. He also made a video about this printer. He had it in blue. I have it in black. And I think black is more sexier than blue. Blue is a nice color though. This is the box. Let's see what's inside of the box. A uh, very cheap PLA. Yeah, the box is tiny. Yeah, it's small printer, tiny box, a non-heated bed, print volume. I think it was like hundreds by hundred by hundred. There is also a uh, new 3D printer users must read in Chinese, but also in English. So uh, we will put it right over here. Uh, filament spool holder um it is a uh, flimsy one we can do something about it in the future a non-heated bed it does it does feel yeah what you what you can expect it is it is um it is like this then we have user manual so the other one was a uh, you know a warning card a very uh small spool holder a uh huh Whoop. But I have an easy 3D and uh, I think I have a power supply laying around there. So this is no issue. Ah! Oh my gosh, this this is this is terrible. We have a USB cable if you want to connect your printer directly to the PC. Then we have a uh, accessory bag with a screwdrivers. Two, oh my gosh, two USB micro SD card USB readers just in case one doesn't work or so okay so i can remember from the video from uh made by layers he had a plastic bracket and this is just i didn't say anything one two three and the base unit here we have the printer I don't think it's going to be that hard to install something like this. So we take one of those and we are going to connect it like this. And then we are going to flip it on its side. And then we are going to take the screws and the screwdriver. But the point is, there is just one point where you put the screw in and yeah, that's basically it. So there is a lot of room for improvement, upgrade parts. We are going to guide this wire through here. So that looks nice because I like nice. Something like that. And then we are going to connect it with the Y axis just like this and then we are going to connect the Z just like this I guess so then we need to screw that part in Something like that. And now we are going to connect this part. So <laughs> like that. <laughs> and then we are going to connect this with this here. All the way through. And then we <laughs> fingers crossed. And it did work. The screw is all the way in. Check that out. So then we move this all the way to here. So on the side, we have here this cable. This is for the Z axis. So you are checking if you find one with Z on it. So it's going in here. So, so like that. Should we keep the uh, heated bed first and then the hot end, the direct drive hot end till the last? Mm. 
Now we are going to flip the printer over. And just like the other time, we are taking the screwdriver. Fingers crossed. I did manage. Wow. So that was that. Everything is connected. So now I'm going to take the power supply from the other easy treat. I'm going to hook it up here and then uh, run the printer. Look, blue light is on. Power it up. Let's home the printer. Now the paper leveling method. So we have here on the side, we have here four buttons and each button stands for a specific point. What we are going to do, we are going to slice just a model that I have and uh, let, uh, let me see how it works. I'm going first for Cura. I don't think it's so very difficult. A few little things to think about. So if you're ever going to buy this printer uh, and you want to add it to one of your slicers, be careful because it overrides your printer that you currently had on that moment which i think you don't want right at yes local printer custom we are going to call this easy three or you can also type easy 3d k9 that yes i think 100 times 100 times 100 he bet no home I think we, we will leave it as this. Extruder, 1.75. So the print speed is uh, between the 10 and 40 millimeters per second. So 100 times 100 times 100, 100 hundreds. Marlin. Next. Um, it is activated. So this is our printer. Let's make a, a profile normal. The layer height is going to be 0.2. Walls, also important, yeah, to Printing temp is 105. Print speed, this is going to be the normal profile. So this is going to be very slow. This is a direct drive 3D printer, you know? It's pretty cool. Build plate adhesion, we are going for the raft. And the rest, we leave it as this. Safe, K9, normal, safe. And now we have this. A calibration cube. Okay, here we go. Slice, 58 minutes. Of course, we are not going to stream for that long. This is uh, the easy 3D. Links of this 3D printer are in the description of this video. Affiliate links to support this channel without you paying anything extra for the same printer that I currently have. Later on, I will maybe also do a review about it, make some modifications to it, make this even a little more fancier uh, cheap printer, shall we? Or just over-engineer it. Maybe I should do that.